my plan is not working, so we're switching around some stuff. Hmm. I really liked my walk between 80 and 20 o'clock, but vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just make um, a longer walk during my uh, shopping slot for vitamin D and then at the evening a shorter walk. Oh well, let's test it out. Okay, another switch up. Because I believe I get refreshed from the walk and then I do a bit of writing, an intensive bit of writing, then a bit of doing creative stuff, and uh, then I'm ready to burn the midnight oil. Yeah, this looks much better than before. <laughs> we are currently at uh, 13.45, so I go for a quick walk around the block, get some sunlight or um, in the case today rain clouds I believe I actually found a bit of sunlight <laughs> great <laughs> so we are at day four actually day five just started but let's go back to day three my last message to you was, uh, I overslept, but I managed to write a thousand words on that day. So, yeah, I, I've got some words in and uh, that's good. So today I locked in 1,700 something words and then Raimo told me, Oh, there are four words missing for your daily word count. So, and I had five minutes to midnight. And so I hit yeah, and uh, got the words, but with counting the words and logging them in, uh, it counted for the next day. But I'm satisfied that I have today finished my standard word count and that's great. I still have some catching up to do, but I think I'm on a fairly good path forward and I'm satisfied with it this day. I watched a video today. Yeah. I want to reduce social media in this month because it's a time sink, yeah? But of course I want to know how my fellow author tubers fare in NaNoWriMo. <laughs> so I, I reduce Twitter, but uh, still watch YouTube. And uh, I'm looking forward to Wednesday because um, two of my favorite author tubers will make a joint writing in, write in. I don't know what a write-in is, um, but I'm looking forward to uh, Wednesday. I post the link on the description um, below if you want to join as well. Where? Yes, I watched the Kate uh, Kavanaugh uh, video and she performs two kind of NaNoWriMo games. One is a game where she writes down every thousand word and at the end of NaNoWriMo she will make a sentence or a mini story, I don't know <laughs> yet. Um, 
with these words. So a great idea, yeah. But it's too much uh, work for me because I have problem with counting my words as it is because I use Grammarly, uh, the app, and I make a new document for every chapter. And the word count is only for the document. So I created a new document, an open office document, where I post now everything and count the words uh, there. Yeah, I, I mean, the optimum would be if I would write one chapter every day. <laughs> My chapters are usually around 2,000 words. In the last few weeks, a bit more than 2,000 words. But there are some times uh, and some chapters are a bit um, le are around... I think my shortest was 1600, it doesn't matter. Whereas, uh, yeah, 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 too much work to do the uh, thousand words game. Um, but the second game she uh, does is to announce the shittiest or the best sentence she wrote on this day. And that's a rather, rather nice, I mean. Okay, I haven't prepared a sentence, but I'm totally willing to play this game. And uh, while watching this, I um, thought about a kind of error I have much fun with. Um, it's homo news? No, homophones. Yes, homophones. I have problems with homophones. Like, um, yeah, and in my region, there isn't a big distinction between T and D and P and D and sometimes even K and G. <laughs> yeah, so I have uh, problems with words containing these um, letters and then the English languages got uh, the O U and I O U. I have got problems with this as well. So I have a list of my favorite misspellings, and of course, uh, I didn't catch them, but my readers <laughs> caught them. Yeah, I think that would be nice as well if I uh, catch a misspelling that I uh, can tell you about it. Today I wrote uh, that Flora made a victory lap and I wrote lap with a B. <laughs> I mean, Flora loves laboratories as well and so she would have fun having a lip victory lap as well, so all is all is well <laughs> in uh, Auntie Tos, the yeah, MMORPG world. Oh, wait. Now I'm um, running to my uh, kitchen. Now I'm running to my laptop and look if I have a shitty sentence or a wonderful sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, now I have so much shitty A sentences. I don't do the Kate Kavanaugh game. <laughs> Only if I have an especially wonderful sentence or especially shitty sentence. Not today. I hope. <laughs> I had no time reading what I wrote. So, um, yeah. Who knows what uh, landmines there in my script. Good. That was day four. Let's hope the best for the next day. Ooh. I had a great day. Three thousand words. 
I mean, that's my absolute record for writing in English. I wrote a part of it in a cafe, pub, uh, without internet access. So I couldn't uh, look up words, and <laughs> that helped. It, probably it didn't help the quality of my writing, but uh, it helped uh, for the speed immensely. Maybe the topic as well. I wrote a game of charade. Actually, it, it wasn't a game. It was... Um, I've got a mute AI, and she did a charade what she wants to do, yes? And the MC and another AI are trying to guess what she means. I show you what she did. Um, she was occupying a treasure chest which also functions as excavator and uh, has crabblers to stuff loot into himself. <laughs> Sorry, let up it she. Um, so she only has uh, those two crabblers, okay? And she made this motion. Write in the comments what you guess. On the other hand, I will only, I will uh, only solve it um, when I publish the chapter, and it's uh, chapter thirty nine, and I'm at thirty two. This means, um, yeah, in three to four weeks. <laughs> Good. It doesn't matter. I guess if you like, if you don't like, don't guess. Yeah, so, uh, good day, 3000 words, great. Um, I caught up with uh, the required words for finishing at 1st of, um, before 1st of December. So that's great as well. Um, let's summarize, I had a very good writing day and had fun while doing it. Yeah, <laughs> you probably can't read it, what I wrote, but I wrote NaNoWriMo. <laughs> well, yeah, I it's 9 o'clock in the evening, and I've already got my word count in for today. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you, Story Detective. They hosted a, a write-in. Uh, I still don't know how it's called. Right, and I think uh, it was great, but stressful. Yeah, um, I think four or five sprints in two hours. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we worked a lot. Um, on one of the sprints, I dropped a ball and did a bit of research and smoked a cigarette. Uh, but I am very satisfied with the results and had fun uh, doing the write-in and I can highly recommend it. I believe that the international bestseller and writing coach Lisa Daly something like this. Uh, we'll do another one next Wednesday, so come and join us. i leave a link in the description below. Good, so the week was good. I am on schedule. I think I'm 100 words above the schedule, so only a tiny bit, but that's totally all right. And I won't do much writing in the evening, because I wrote a lot yesterday. NaNoWriMo is no sprint, but there are sprints in NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is a marathon. It's a sprinty marathon.
You get a picture. I hope. Ah, so. Did I do any homo phones? I did one yesterday, but it wasn't funny, so I won't tell you. <laughs> so I haven't planned anything else for Nano, for the Nano time. I mean, nothing strenuous, just a bit uh, social stuff, of course. I don't know if everybody celebrates Saint Martin. It's uh, Saint Martin's Day in Germany. Um, people go around with little um, lanterns, especially kids. Uh, it's it's a nice holiday. I haven't attended it for a while. And I'm at a party at St. Martin's, and the people suggested that uh, after the party, they look at the they look at the St. Martin's parade. So uh, maybe I'll do that. The lighting would be probably bad, but maybe I'll film a bit. That's it. See you with the next update next Sunday. Good luck with your writing. Bye bye.